Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Durant is back because I need to talk about why Hot Toys should be ashamed in their latest 85th anniversary Batman announcements. Oh my god. What is up ladies and gentlemen it is Riley Reviews back again with a reveal video and today is going to be a negative one because a lot of people are questioning what is Hot Toys doing with the 85th anniversary Batman line and just the DC line in general because there's been a lot of missteps and we're going to get into all of it but before we do make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe button and bang the bell notification so you don't miss future videos and let me know all of your thoughts on these announcements in the comment section below because I know it's going to be a spicy one, so I want to hear you guys. Are you with me? Are you not? Am I overreacting? Because I honestly, I, I have so many thoughts and we're going to get into right now. But let's just go start off with what Hot Toys have to say about this announcement. Um, in celebration of Batman Day 2024 and the 85th anniversary of Batman's debut, Hot Toys is thrilled to present the collectible figure of Batman Beyond suit with a new black and gold color combination. Black and gold. It's an exclusive figure with limited quantities of 2000 in select markets so this is going to be one of those ones that's a limited version and a lot of people are in agreement that this is just absolutely trash and just a terrible start to batman day and the 85th anniversary and celebrating it this is your chance to start your batman figure collecting journey with our new black and gold version of batman beyond collectible figure and again what i don't know what hot toys thought that who thought they were cooking here because like what is this this is just this could have just not existed and nobody would have cared i don't think there's this let me know in the comments if someone's buying this because i guarantee you 90 percent of people watching this is probably not going to buy this figure because it's just a just useless repaint in my opinion maybe it looks a little cool to some people but i mean it looks cool but it's just so unnecessary and it it just is a slap in the face to DC fans because they can do so many other things that people actually want to buy, but they decide to just retool an original figure that they had that didn't sell well. That's probably sitting on sideshow. And this is a, a, a sideshow anniversary as well. Keep in mind. So that's probably, it's probably, they should have just reworded this and said, we're sorry. Sideshow had a, a shit ton of this uh, excess figure in the warehouse and we got to figure out a way to get some more sales on it. That's that's what I think happened. That's that's the secret way of saying it. That's that they're like, we're sorry, this is sideshow's mess. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I just feel like DC fans just cannot win sometimes, and it, and this just plain clear and shows that because there's just so many cool avenues you can take with the franchise of DC. There's just they can go from and, and it's the 85th anniversary. They could have done anything, but they decided to kick it off with. The VGM versions of these characters, and not only their VGM, which is already like niche in its own right, their repainted colorway skins, like I don't understand sometimes. And this is not the only one that we saw. We also got this Batgirl, which is like two people there say it's a little bit better, like sure. But again, it's just a repaint of the original figure that they had that a lot of people say is really trash, I believe. Like I, I'm pretty sure most people said that figure is a a horrible figure like it has really bad posing the materials are really bad but again like cool it's repainted and it looks a little bit more appealing but it's still just like like why this for your 85th anniversary and that said maybe they'll maybe they're just cooking they're starting off light and they're gonna go crazy this week we'll have to wait and see because maybe that i'll just eat my words later but like this is just so like like why put sink the time into even making these figures like maybe that's a hot take but i just feel like no one i don't these are exclusive but i guarantee it i will bet you that these are going to sit still being exclusives i don't even think these are going to sell out that's that's my take like sure it looks cool but when you're it's not going to be worth it when you're paying 300 for something that just looks cool like this has no no nothing about this makes me want to buy this and on top of that like even bro's mouth plate is gold and it's a lighter shade like what what like literally what what is that what is that like i'm sorry but like i just i can't man this this just looks this is just such 
And again, there's just even from this video game, you could have done Nightwing, you could have done Mr. Freeze, you could have done villains, you could have done the actual origins Batman in his original suit. That would have been super hype and probably even simpler because you don't even have to, you just have to paint him as normal colors. You don't have to shade him in some gold chrome garbage like this. Like, I'm sorry, like this is just so bad. This is just terrible. I'm not a fan and they can put whatever it literally seems like this is written by chat GBD, GBT like it's just one of the most spectacular suits among fans like no one cares about this suit if it's just ripped into some weird gold chrome that just doesn't like I guess it'll pop on the shelf but again like it's cool that we're getting this as well but it's just not appealing and not exciting for a Batman anniversary line. And this is a, apparently Batman Day, which I didn't even know, honestly. That's pretty cool to see. It's Batman Day, and they want to give us a gold Batman and a Batgirl. Like, what? I don't understand it. It really doesn't make any sense to me. And again, I just feel like Hot Toys need to listen to this and just produce something more unique with the DC franchise. You can do Scarecrow. Like, I don't know. There's just so many different things that could be very exciting for video game fans but they just decided to just repaint stuff and retool stuff and this kind of goes back to my point that i say a lot that hot toys is lazy at times like obviously i love their company i buy so many of their figures but i have to admit that sometimes they're just they just reuse stuff and they're very just like they they, they give us a um insane announcement of the arnold t like look at this the t2 arnold and then days later they give us this like <laughs> one step forward two steps back with this company i'm telling you there's more laughing reactions on the comments i believe than people who actually care about this and like it it's just literally just people making fun of this and saying how trash this is like look at this i don't want to keep this too long let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below do you think i'm maybe going a little too drastic here in my overreacting is there going to be a uh, hot is going to shut me up with some announcements that are crazy from dc in the 85th anniversary maybe they will but so far as we can see it, today has been an L day for the anniversary and Batman day for Hot Toys fans. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, you guys. Oh,